Hey hello guys welcome to Vikiox channel where the search for the truth begins January 17 2021 75 Indian drones flew in the sky What is special about the day it was Indian Army day there is a system which controls the 75 drones the Indian Army shows that India has army combat swarm drones when the Indian Army is showing its army combat swarm drones We must discuss the DARPA projects on drones. What projects does DARPA have in drones? DARPA has already developed many high-tech drones, but they are going to buy a single drone which cost nearly rupees five crores. In 2020, three stages of tests have been completed by DARPA. In 2021, DARPA has announced that the fourth and final stage will be completed. What type of drones are they testing? Is this drone the king of drones? Let's discuss in detail. Swarm drones fly in groups. The number of drones make it hard to control the drones. The control unit which controls the drone if it faces an issue, the drones may fail on their missions. If the drones fail due to technical issues, how will they retrieve the drones? What are the possibilities of retrieving the drones? Drones all over the world are called UAVs. but DARPA calls it GAVs in 2015 DARPA was involved in developing a project called Icarus inbound controlled air releasable and recoverable systems the words which have been used in Icarus and recoverable and air releasable did mean something from a mother ship these unrecoverable drones will be launched the drones will try to destroy the enemies we discussed the term called unrecoverable These drones will not have a high level of combustion power. In 2015, DARPA was successful in developing swarm drones, but DARPA after years wanted the drones to be recoverable. After launching from the mother ship, the swarm drones will hit the enemies, destroy military installations, causing havoc and then they have to return to the mother ship. They also thought of refueling the drones while in the missions. Can drones be refueled mid-air? DARPA's Kremlin air vehicles will contain jet engines. One drone will cost rupees 5 crore. The payload of the GAVs will be high tech. When the GAVs become swarm drones, DARPA can conduct many high tech warfare. These GAVs are capable of refueling in mid air through a socket linked to the refueled aircraft. Now, you may have a doubt. Why does DARPA develop the expensive GAVs? We should understand the high tech in these GAVs. One GAV is capable of communicating with the mother ship from where it was launched. It also has the ability to communicate with other GAVs. So when drones communicate with each other there are possibilities they can become an antenna. If this antenna has been formed by the drones they can process the enemy's radar systems and signals. These GAVs will identify themselves as F-16 jet fighters, MiG-29 jet fighters or any other military aircraft. The GAVs will send signals to the enemy base stations. The GAVs will be launched from the C-130. These drones are called X-61As. So these X61As will emit the signals of the aircraft which are flying above and behind them. This will confuse the enemy's radar systems. The enemy will not be able to target a single aircraft because of the swarm drone numbers. These drones are equipped with jet engines, so the speed of the drones are matched with the jet fighters. So this makes the SAMs surface to air missiles useless. If the enemy has launched an aircraft against a jet fighter or a bomber, these drones will jam the signal of the enemy aircraft. So these drones can act as a signal jammer. So the GAVs will form a network against the enemies and this network will be hard for the enemies to handle. This network will contain radar system, decoy information, jammer system. These all will be done through system of systems communications. The mother ship which launched the drones will keep a close eye on these drones. So, through this the GAVs will be a huge problem for the enemy. The world is now going after UAVs, but DARPA's project GAVs is a step ahead of the world. 
In 2019, China developed this technology. In 2020, America had high-tech swarm drones. But in 2021, this technology will be at its peak. Through America's DARPA project called GAVs, many countries across the world will start their own research on GAVs. Does India have an alternative for GAVs? What is Russia's research against the GAVs? What is Israel's alternative version of GAVs? Let's discuss in another video. Please search for the Gremlin project. There is a lot of information available. If you know the information, please comment and share it with us. Comments about this video are most welcome. Please do subscribe and share for more content to Wikivox, the voice of Tamil Pukisham. Please give a like to this video and please hit the notification icon. Nandri Vanakam.